In any business organization, we use Excel to organize data as needed and make databases for the future. Moreover, one interesting thing is that we can make invoices very easily in Excel. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel BBA related challenges. I'm Shahir Abdul Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create invoice with database in Excel. So let's roll up our slips and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. I'll accomplish the task in various steps. First, I'll make a draft of the invoice to ensure which information you want to see in the invoice and how the invoice will look. However, I'll gradually go forward and use Excel formulas to make an automatic system for this. In the product section, I'll manually select ID and give units and I want to get the rest of the calculation automatically. First thing first, I need a database for the goods. Here is a sample database I am taking for demonstration. This list contains a series of IDs for different products along with the product names and prices for each unit. Next, I am going to show the core invoice template. With this in mind, I have created this data range as the invoice template. You can input the invoice number and date manually in these cells. Here are the columns of ID, product name, price, units and subtotal. In addition to that, I kept dedicated cells for total orders with tax calculations. Keep in mind that you can always create new rows between them in Excel, so you don't have to worry about that while making this invoice template. At this point, you can manually insert data inside the template. But the main point is to automate the process as much as possible when we are creating the particular invoice template with the database in Excel. Select cell C6 and write down the formula into it equal to here I'm using the if function. Press tab to insert the highlighted function. As the logical test argument, I'll use another function which is the is blank function. As the value argument, I'll select cell B6. Close the parenthesis, comma, as the value if true argument, I'll insert a blank space. As the value if false argument, I'll use the VLOOKUP function. As the lookup value argument, select cell B6, comma, as the table array argument, I'll select cells in the B5 to D14 range in the database worksheet, comma, as the column index argument, I'll insert 2, comma, and as the range lookup argument, I'll use false, which is for exact match. Close the parenthesis. Again, I'm closing the parenthesis and press enter. Here, the VLOOKUP function searches for the value in cell B6 on the range B5 to D14 in the database sheet and shows the output from the second column of the range where the exact match occurs. This isBlank function checks if cell B6 is blank or not and returns a boolean value, which is true or false. Finally, the IF function checks if the isBlank function returns true or not. If it does, then it returns an empty string. Otherwise, it proceeds with the VLOOKUP portion of the formula. In summary, this formula will fetch the product name from the database sheet according to the ID. And it will keep this cell blank if the ID cell is blank also. Now, in cell D6, insert another formula to fetch the price from the database sheet. This formula is also similar to the previous one. Here in this formula, the only difference is that I use 3 instead of 2 in this because prices are in the third column of this dataset. As this formula is also the same to the previous one, so there is no need to explain this separately. Now, to test the values and check if the formulas are indeed working or not, let's insert a value in cell B6 matching an ID from the database. I'm writing A0002. Press enter. As you can see, the input portion is working correctly. Next, I need to automate the subtotal calculation and total order calculations. So, select cell F6 and write down the formula is equal to if is blank, select cell B6, close the parenthesis, comma, input a blank, comma, D6 into E6, close the parenthesis. So, this formula will check if the cell B6 is blank or not. If it is blank, then it will keep the cell F6 blank also. Otherwise, it will return the product of cell D6 and E6 into cell F6. Press enter. Now, I'll apply accounting format in the columns related to currency. So, select these cells, go to the home tab in the number group of commands, click on the accounting number format icon. Now, select the range C6 
to F6 and drag the fill handle down to replicate these formulas for the rest of the cells. Then select cell F13 and write down the formula equal to sum as the number one argument select the range F6 to F12. This function adds up all the values in this range. Press enter. After that, I will apply a tax of 7.5%. So in cell F14, write down the formula equal to F13 into 7.5% and enter. For the grand total calculation, I will add up the values of the upper two cells equal to F13 plus F14 and enter. At this point, I can say our invoice template is complete. Let's test this out by inserting a sample unit for our first product. I'm inputting 3 and enter. As you can see, the template is working as intended. Now, let's fill out the template with product IDs in the ID column and their ordered units. To make it more credible, add the invoice number and date also. I've inserted the date as 26th October of 2023. Also, make these column headings center aligned. Here is what it looks like finally. In this tutorial, I have shown a step-by-step -step procedure to create invoice with database in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Or join our thriving ExcelDemy community forum where you can post your Excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.